Getting a professional looking video stream is less about the camera you use and more about the lighting. Hi, I'm John with Pro Church Lights and I'm gonna show you how to take your online live stream to the next level. For this tutorial, we'll focus on the three basic types of stage lighting, front wash, rear kick, and background light. Here you can see our pastor on stage. He's lit from the front and we call that the front wash. And when done correctly, the front wash provides a smooth, soft appearance with little to no shadows on the face, along with natural looking skin tones. These fixtures are the number one most important light that must be in place to produce a great looking video. I'm gonna pause the video right here. You'll notice that there's not a visual separation from the background. We can fix that easily with kick light. So let's fade those up and see what it looks like. There we go, that's much better. These lights are positioned above and to the rear of the stage, and you can see they provide a really nice light around the head and shoulder area, and that's what creates the important separation from the background. And here, when you compare these before and after shots, you can instantly see how this kick light really makes our pastor pop on camera. And it's important to mention that, as with all stage lighting, not all kick lights are the same. You wanna make sure that you always choose fixtures that can produce soft and smooth light. Also, I do wanna point out something while it's paused here. Notice that this light has a slight blue color tone, and that's because this kick light has a color changing option. And that makes it really easy to create a mood and a nice contrast to the front wash. It gives you a lot of creative control. And now we're gonna take this look to another level with the third element, background light. Watch this, we're gonna fill in the background a little bit more by fading up these movers on stage. There we go, as you can see here, they provide a nice color and pattern to the background. Makes that shot a lot more interesting. Now in this example, we have haze in the room and haze can be used in a very subtle way to create an atmosphere. If you haven't experimented with haze, you might consider trying it out. There are many other ways to accomplish interesting background lighting. For example, you can use a wall light or you can focus some lights on a set piece. And churches can also do really interesting things with LED bars. The point is, no matter what you do, the goal is some sort of visual element that fills the background with additional light. Okay, so let's recap. We have front lights, we have kick lights, and we have background lights. Of course, with any lighting setup, there are other variables to consider like positioning, intensity, and color temperature. And these are all things we can advise you on here at Pro Church Lights. We offer lighting consulting free of charge. Just reach out to us. We're here to help. We want you to love your lights.